Hey all, thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're printing a Minecraft book by the same name twice found on printables. This was a great build. I used my Bamboo Lab P1S and currently, as you can see in the video, I'm just sorting out the pieces and I originally printed this for my daughter. I, I still will give it to her, but yeah, I really like this build. I did originally print it on my Creality and the 3S1 Pro. It came out okay, but once I got the Bamboo Lab, I had to reprint it and yeah, it came out flawlessly. Uh, the most difficult bit was getting the supports out of the corner um, or the section of what I'm trying to get out of. It was a nightmare. They were so stuck in there and the angle was really hard to get into. And I do end up snapping a bit of the spine of this book. I do show you later on. It was super annoying, but it was well worth it in the end, as you'll see. But yeah, um, I'll probably try and print this again without any support. See what happens. Probably still will need it, but hey ho, 3D printing life. Now, this was super easy getting the supports out of the hinges. It was just literally snipping each corner, snapping and pulling it out. Um, some parts had brim, some parts didn't for the pen inserts. Um, don't know why, just Bamboo Labs or Bamboo Studio <laughs> all doing it. Um, I used the burrowing tool just to scrape off a bit of excess just to make it all fit nice and smoothly. Um, and yeah. Now putting the spine together, well, sorry, ribbon was really good, really easy. This, I mean, I love in the bamboo P1S. Um, I will be out a review in a couple of weeks. I just want to get more time of it to just see if there's any negatives or positive properly. But I mean, yeah, it's printing flawlessly. All the pieces fit well, they fit easily.
So I'm just removing the supports off the hinges and they slid in really well. The book opened and closed okay. It did it off camera and put it together, but it wasn't as nice as I wanted it. Um, it was rubbing against the inside of the book covers, which eventually would have led to tension and snapping off. So I just sanded everything, um, all the hinges, the inside of the book cover, and it made a whole lot of difference. It put together really nicely. Um, there wasn't as much tension and yeah, it's, just a, it's a book, right? You want to have to open and close it, um, not fight fight it um, but yeah definitely worth doing and so yeah let's carry on Now, I'll be honest, at this point, I was a bit stumped because um, even though I put this book together already, I was thinking, how am I going to get it all in properly? Um, as you can see, I'm taking bits out, pushing it back together. Um, I must have got a foggy brain. I just forgot what I did, but it went together absolutely fine. This was a fun bar. I couldn't wait to get this in. Um, and because it was printed so well on the P1S, once again, shout out, um, it fitted really perfectly. Um, I originally printed this book a couple of weeks ago on my end of free and quality wasn't as good and the tolerances were all over the place some bits fit some bits didn't especially this bit now i'm putting the, the page insert the white pages insert um against the cover of the book um i couldn't get this in for life or death when putting on the end of three and um, i literally had to use a hammer and hammer it down with this it's a bit tight but with enough force and a bit of pushing it managed to fit in really really nicely um so yeah let's carry on and see what happens Now, I've just inserted the pen holders. It holds larger and thinner pens. As you can see, there's two different size slots. Um, and now the book is closing beautifully. Um, it didn't close completely shut with a tiny little gap, but I guess just, just due to the way it is. But yeah, it worked fine. Um, I'm gonna squeeze it again now, we <laughs> can see the little gap. But yeah, thank you for sticking around to the video. And now it's time for the glamour shots. Let's go. Thank you so much for watching this video, it means the world to me. Please like and subscribe and share. And if you get a chance, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Mr. Cannibal Prince. But that'll be all for today, so sweet baby G!